Hi, and welcome to the Arts District Podcast. I'm Lauren. And I'm Georgia. And we're celebrating episode 50 this week. Yeah. Oh, five cupcakes. Okay. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Do you want to balance one on your head? Sure. Okay. Okay, you have to duck down. <laughs> we... um, oh, you're too calm. Oh, sorry. I was going to blow them out, and I was going to be like... Okay, try that again. <laughs> okay. Did you blow mine well, out? Yeah, I did, but not these ones. Oh. <laughs> we've done it too many times. Like the cupcakes. Uh, no, I don't mean we've done the cupcakes, cupcakes too much. I mean we keep going like this, and then what? The cupcakes <laughs> disappear. <laughs> How am I gonna edit this? <laughs> <laughs> They're magic cupcakes. Okay. So yeah, they just disappear like, and all in, and, and they all just that. show up every time we put our hands up. Okay. Okay. That's have, my that's my evening. Have fun <laughs> editing. Thanks. Um. Yeah. Episode fifty. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's been such a long time coming. It has. Well, it's been a year. Yeah. It's over a year. Yeah. A year and a week. So. Yeah. We're good. We are good. The little podcast that could. You rhymed. Gross. Hey, that's what I do. No, I liked it. I rhymed. (laughs) Um, yeah, okay, so it's been kind of another boring week in music, um, just stuff that I don't really care about that's happening, so, uh... That's too. I think, like we said last week, like, everyone's on vacation, nothing is happening. Yeah. Um, Pan Am finally ended. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really been disrupt- disrupting your summer, has it? Uh, no. Finally ended. No, it's just like, yeah, it's done now, so mm-hmm. if you didn't make it out to any of those events, then that's too bad. I didn't either, but... Yeah. I, you know what? While it was going on, I didn't even hear that much about it. Like, I didn't really hear about it on the radio too much or word of mouth. Mm-hmm. Just, like, I knew it was happening, but I just kept forgetting that it was happening. Yeah. One night I was at Trivia, and one of the questions was about how many medals we had. And it was insane. Like, we were, like, a week in to Pan Am, and it seemed like we had, like, 80 medals or something. It was wow. unreal. Yeah. I think we did, like, come in second or third. That's wild. Like, behind the States. Mm. Um, I feel like we did better in the Parapan Ad game, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, you've been following it more than I have. Uh, yeah, I could be totally wrong, though, with those okay. stats. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm just going to talk about a couple of events, what I did on the weekend, and what's going on next weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no hard-hitting news, but yeah. who knows, maybe our conversation will lead us to... to great things. To great things. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> okay. I went straight to David Bowie the second I said that. In my head, I was like, Bowie. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, on that note, let's you, get it rolling. Okay, should I get started? Yeah. All right, so this is not really an arts thing at all, um, but I saw the photos of it, and I was like, that looks really cool. Hmm. So imagine a ton of water. Right. So much water. And it's covered in these black balls. So you just can't like, see the surface? Yeah, you can't see the surface. So you don't like, even know that it's water? You maybe don't know it's water. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. They did this in LA. And it's not it's not an art thing or anything like that. California's been in drought. Yeah. For like years. <laughs> Yeah. Like, it's been a huge issue. Yeah. And this was one of the ideas they came up with to help sort of protect and conserve this reservoir of drinking water for L.A. Oh, I did see this. Yeah, they're and calling they're them like shadow shade, balls. Shade or... balls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is, like, the derpiest name. Shadow balls. Shade balls. <laughs> that would be better. Yeah. Yeah. Shade balls. And the idea <laughs> is that they are just these, like, black balls that are there to um protect the water from sunlight Mm -hmm. um there's a bunch of reasons so they protect protect and preserve drinking water um they block sunlight they prevent unwanted chemical reactions so it sort of keeps the water more like drinkable and pure um they prevent like algae blooms and stuff like that that's what we need in hamilton (laughs) oh yeah bad algae bloom situation Mm. yeah maybe they should try them and they uh they reduce evaporation. So interesting. So they're actually like keeping more water because they have the surface covered in these balls, and um, 
Yeah, so they float, and then they have a bit of water in them so that they don't just, like, blow away. Right. Apparently, I didn't write down exactly what they're made of, but they're not going to, like, release any chemicals into the water, and they're supposed to last for, like, 25 years. Yeah. Uh, What I thought was even funnier is that the idea comes from um, bird balls, (laughs) which are used to protect, like, uh, ponds and stuff from unwanted birds hanging out in them. I've never heard of these. I've never either. Apparently this is like the biggest use of shade balls. It was 96 million balls on this one um, reservoir. I hope they're made out of something biodegradable because like there's, how many did you say they made? Then they're floating around and... 96 million. If they do blow away or roll away somewhere... Mm -hmm. And if they're made out of plastic, that'll kind of suck if it just, like, buried into, you know, mm. hillsides or wherever. Yeah, I guess. It'd be nice if they were biodegradable. But they're not supposed to release any chemicals. So, like, That's if they were degrading in the water. 96,000 million balls yeah. hanging around. Well, hopefully they can use them. Hopefully. For 25 years. And hopefully they work. knows, they'll melt them down and make more. <laughs> Yeah, good idea yeah. though. I did see maybe you shared it or something. That's how I saw it, but I no. did see those. Um, yeah, I just thought the imagery of it was really cool. Maybe I'll put in some photos because um, it's just this weird looking, like it's a reservoir. Mm-hmm. It's this concrete thing, and that's full of like this like moving because it's on top of water. Like yeah. these just black balls. I didn't see that picture. The one I saw was like it literally looked like. Like, picture, like, a driveway or sidewalk, something, like, flat and concrete. And there was, like, little, like, like, it had rained or something. And there was all these, like, little droplets of water. And then right beside each droplet, there was, like, a black ball sitting right beside it. So the black ball was, like, casting a shadow over the raindrop. Oh. And I was like, what? Like, how does that work? Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe they're using them in different ways. even video clips where they were, like, rolling them into the reservoir. Okay. Yeah, that seems way more... Right. Maybe that was, maybe what you saw was just sort of like an illustration. It looked like an actual photograph. It was like, yeah, someone's just going to kick those and mm. they're going to roll away, you know? No, well, I don't think most people have access to, like, drinking water reservoirs for Big City. Yeah. But, yeah, I think it's a cool idea and I think it's smart. And we should be preserving drinking water because there's not a lot on the earth. I know. And especially in droughts. Yeah, it and sucks, California, for that. Mm-hmm. They were in a drought when I was there in 2013. Yeah, I feel like it's been years and years. And then I went in 2014. I don't remember them talking about it as much, but I think they were still in one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. But it's a cool... I think we need ideas like that. Mm-hmm. More ideas like that. To make the world a better place. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Should I? Yeah, what's next? Um, okay, I'll just talk about my weekend, I guess. Um, Friday night, I went to Art Crawl, which was my second time experiencing that. The first time was when Georgia and I went for, uh, it was like the kickoff of Juno Fest in oh, Hamilton. That's right. So yeah. it was still kind of cold out, and it wasn't as bitty, biz, bitty, busy. Um, it was kind of rainy. Yeah, and it just wasn't an awesome night for Art Crawl, but on Friday, it was so nice out and it was it was it was awesome like we went at like 9 30 10 ish and I wasn't sure if things were still going to be open if people were still going to be out walking I was pleasantly surprised when we got down there and it was packed it was like everything that I loved about San Francisco and New York City was there it was like tons of young people you know people buying art and going into galleries and sitting out on patios eating and drinking and like music like there was buskers and it was just so vibrant and awesome I was just like oh yeah like this is this is Hamilton's like this is what they should grab onto and you know just see how far it'll take them Mm -hmm. um it was so much fun. We got a piece of art. I should have taken a picture of it so we could have put it up here. Um, you yeah, know that right. picture um, of my neighborhood that's sitting on my record player? It's like a little map. The same guys we that... Got, did we get that that time or did you get that later? Uh, no. Friends of ours gave it to us. It was oh. a housewarming thing. But the same guys that did that 
did this one that we got and it's black and gold and it says Hamilton in the middle and then it's got like all these like Hamilton landmarky things. Oh cool. Yeah, but it's like a print. Um okay. they're sort of like stylized like hand, illustrated yeah. maps. Yeah, kind of. This one's not so much a map though, it's just like like weird like pop art kind of. Oh okay. Um Hamilton things. Cool. Yeah, so really nice. I uh, framed it, put it up on my mantle. Nice. And that was a fast turnaround. You got it on Friday and it's already framed <laughs> enough. Oh, yeah. Well, That's I just awesome. took a frame that I already had, took okay. a picture out of it, and popped it up there. Um, yeah, I loved it. It was so much fun. Um, and we tried out the new Wendell Clark's restaurant, which is downtown in the Lister Block. And it was good, actually. I had their veggie burger. Yeah. It was good. Cool. Normally, veggie burgers are hit and miss, but that one was good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was just super impressed with it. And I've been hearing that, like, with each art crawl, it gets bigger and bigger. And a lot of the people in, like, neighboring communities have been complaining about the noise and stuff. It's like, it's mm -hmm. one day a month, you know? Like, embrace it. It's doing so much good for this city. Mm -hmm. Um, next month will be Super Crawl, which starts yeah. September 11th. And that's going to be huge. Last year, I think they had 100,000 people come out. So this year's wow. probably going to be the same, if not bigger. Yeah. And... Everyone should try and make it out if they can. It's free. There are ticketed events if you want to go see um, certain people perform, but the majority of them are all free. I think maybe there's like two or three ticketed events. Um, but yeah, it's all just outdoor, random stages throughout downtown. Streets are closed off. There'll be food vendors and lots of art and lots of music and a good time. So it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to experience it. Yeah. Um, Same. I do have to go to really on the 11th. But I'm going to come back after my dentist appointment and okay. go out that night. Cool. Yeah. It's going to be a blast. Mm -hmm. Jeez, I can't believe it's going to be September soon. Oh, I know. It's so fast. Yeah. I just had to sign a new work, work contract. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> summer is over. Uh. <laughs> um, yeah. So moving on, something in a similar vein. This Saturday, August 22nd, is Aurelia's Starry Night studio and gallery tour. Mm -hmm. If you look way back, I think it's one of our very early episodes. Like episode four. Yeah, we, we went to Starry Night. That was our and, first uh, live on location. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, it's happening again on Saturday. There are, this is the 11th year, so it's rolling along. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it's like Aurelia's art crawl. Essentially. Yeah. 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 More quaint a little bit. And, mm -hmm. but. but they do have 25 venues open. Mm -hmm. So that's like a lot of places getting involved. And uh, Oma is one of them. Um, and then everything else, all the studios, all the galleries. Yeah. Um, yeah, we really enjoyed it last year. It's 7 to 11 p.m. And yeah, that's what I have to say about that. It's free. I think you can donate money for like a button though or something oh, like that. Oh yeah. yeah. I feel like I think, that's normally what they do. Yeah, I think it's something like that. You get like a passport and you go around. I think. I don't I'm know if they do that anymore. I'm confused with Streets Alive. I'm like, but you vote. But what do you vote on? No, that's Streets Alive. Yeah, but I think they used yeah. to do Starry Night Passports and you could go and like get a stamp okay. or something. Yeah. But, or just had it listed everything like brochure mm -hmm. and they called it the passport. Yeah. But yeah, last year I can't remember. There was like a record breaking amount of people that came out. Yeah, it was a lot. It was like 4,000 or something like that. somewhere back here in my book. Oh, oh yeah, we totally that. have our old show notes. Episode 7. This is a walk oh. down memory lane. Yeah. Wow, I had three pages of notes for episode 7. <laughs> <laughs> we used to do so. Episode no 4. Apparently. Yeah. Jeez. Wow. Hey, Star Night. You have it? No. Episode 6. It must have been episode 4 because I don't have... Oh, I do have show notes for that. That's not in here. Um, not that it's a huge deal or anything. No, I think we would have known the numbers the next week for episode 5. And yeah. I don't have episode 5 in here. Oh, okay. I think I must have taken notes on my phone though. Yeah, my notes used to be so thorough. I know, I can't believe how many pages of notes. Oh, when... And I used to put in so many, like, annotations and stuff. Yeah, I have your editing... pages of, like, lists of all the things I had to oh edit Oh, my gosh. In. And I don't do that at all anymore. No, we've definitely Super slacked lazy. a little bit, but... Yeah. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. It's our podcast. We can do whatever we want. Exactly. It's not for you. It's for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. 
Yeah, so yeah, that's Saturday mm-hmm. in the evening, Saturday in the afternoon. I'm not done yet. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Okay, sorry, though I guess it would have made more sense to go from afternoon to evening, but I'm going to continue with that and say that we have a friend who's exhibiting at Starry Night. We do? Yeah, Eliza. Oh, yes, her yeah. daughter. I don't know. She didn't ask me to promote this, so it's going to be a surprise for her. But um, yeah, she is going to be exhibiting at Sanderson Monuments. Um, she went to high school with us and is a big world traveler and has a really cool series of doors. Um, if you want to check her out on Instagram, she's been posting some of them. Mm -hmm. It's, um, Wanderer's Collection of Doors. Yeah. I think that's the title of her Instagram. It might just be Wanderer's Collection. Yeah, that might be it. Oslo, like, at Wanderer's Yeah, so just search Wanderer's Collection. If you don't see it, do add the... Of doors. Of doors. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they're she, really good pictures. They're really great. Lots and of nice it's really doors. cool. She's added um, 10 countries, 30 cities is what she's photographed so far wow. indoors. So I think it's a really cool project. And um, she's I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get there to see it, but I'd really like to. Yeah. Definitely, definitely wander down the Arts District to Sanderson Monuments yeah. and uh, check her stuff out. My aunt is got stuff up too she was yeah. she's always a part of it she was she's, who we interviewed in our episode my aunt like patty our patty first Agapi. ever guest yeah yeah yep yeah. uh so yeah i'm looking forward to it mm-hmm. hopefully it's not raining you know yeah It'll be a nice night wander around yeah zephyr is gonna be in Yeah, i haven't been there in a while it's gonna be one of their last events because zephyr is closing remember i thought they were already closed Did they already closed I don't know, really I feel like we talked about that in a, like a really long time ago. Yeah, I can't remember if they were already closed or if they were closing in October. Why do I think they were closed? No, they are closed. I want to say they closed, closed in like April. Oh. But. I'm good at this. <laughs> but I don't remember now, so yeah. I'm guessing it. Well, they were on the list, so they must, if they're not still open, then they're doing a pop-up. Yeah, some form or another. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be cool. Mm-hmm. Is that all you had to say about that? Yeah. You okay. Can go into the afternoon. I'm I had a We're going back in time now. Uh, Saturday afternoon. I mentioned it last week. Our friend Chantelle Stone, who was a guest on our podcast a couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. uh, she is having a CD release party in Hamilton. Nope. Eric Hamilton. Aurelia. Um, in the room space right beside Bree Bay. Yeah, it's called Down by the Bay. Yeah. It starts at, well, doors open at 12. The show starts at 1. There will be two bands opening and then. Chantel's band Mm -hmm. and uh yeah it's free um so if you're looking for something to do in the afternoon might as well come out and hear some live music Mm -hmm. and uh pick up a cd yeah and it'll be a lot of fun looking forward to that saturday's gonna be a good day yeah i hope i can make it yeah georgia designed the the poster for it. Oh, yeah. So there is an event on Facebook. If you just search Chantal Stone CD release party, mm-hmm. the CD is called The Other Side. Yeah. Um, you'll, you'll stumble upon it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So that's Saturday yeah, afternoon. Check out the poster. Yeah. Share it around. Yeah. Exposure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hopefully I can make it up there and hang out with you guys. Celebrate. Oh, yeah. That's what I was going to talk about last week. I had something that I was going to talk about, and then I was like, oh, I'll save it for next week. Oh, yeah. And then I just totally forgot about that. We have to say it now. All right, so I guess last week it would have been more fitting because I had just gotten back from my New York trip. But uh, I've just been seeing so many articles online lately comparing Hamilton to Brooklyn. And I myself have made that comparison, too, before Mm. I went to... I've been to New York, like, three times now, three or four times, and... uh, I always kind of, I'd never actually been to Brooklyn, but I always just was like, I bet you Hamilton is like Brooklyn, you know? Okay. And especially now because of that whole art thing that they're really... Mm, like Hamilton? Yeah. Or, or Brooklyn? Well, both. I mean, yeah. both of them kind of had bad reputations a couple years ago, you know? Mm-hmm. Just kind of like the dirty sister of Toronto or New York, you know? Like Manhattan. Um, and so I actually got to go to Brooklyn and experience it and it was it was really cool you know kind of like dark and mysterious but like young and hip and exciting um it's big like brooklyn's huge i only Mm -hmm. got to wander through a really small section of it we walked across the williamsburg bridge from uh like the lower east side of manhattan like hipster capital of the world yeah kind of um but i don't know like we sat in the patio of uh this bar and I felt like I was in Hamilton, like it, hmm. 
it's got a really cool vibe. So when I got back, I was just seeing all these articles popping up, like Hamilton, Brooklyn, you know, like they're basically the same. And uh, I don't know, it was just neat. I just wanted to mention it because, you know, if you've never been to Hamilton and you've been to Brooklyn or you've never been to Brooklyn, but you've been to Hamilton, you know, maybe you can share your thoughts on that. And uh, if, if you do go explore, maybe you'll have that in the back of your head and you'll be thinking of it. But yeah, I don't know. I just think that's neat. Okay. Yeah. So it's something else to add to your list of reasons why all your friends should move to Hamilton. Yeah, I mean, I actually like Hamilton more than Brooklyn. Um, Whoa. Yeah. Maybe it's just I'm biased because I live there and I feel yeah. comfortable there and I've had more time to explore it mm. and see all the magic of Hamilton. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I am on, like, a, I'm, like, Hamilton proud right now. Like, yeah. I just can't kick it. I love that city. Yeah. I'm so glad I moved there. Good. Yeah. You should love where you live. Yeah, you should. It's important. Um, yeah, I'm jazzed about it. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't really have, like, crazy things to talk about. I just wanted to mention that I'd been seeing a lot of comparisons. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of backed me up. I was like, yeah, I'm not the only one that thinks this. Cool. All right. That'll well, be it. Yeah. Tune in next week for episode 51. Mm -hmm. So close to a year of the podcast. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll see you next week. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.